All I wanted to do was, you know, be at home with my friends and not be with strangers that were essentially like making money off of me, like just working me like a show horse. So you got spotted by um, a talent scout or something, an agent when you were 13, 14. Yeah. Uh, but they wanted to hold you back till you were 16. Yes. So, so what happened during that time? So what during the first few years or? Well, I, I guess I'm saying, did did you, were you happy to wait for that agency till you were 16 or did you yeah, want to find someone so else? Yeah, I was so young and I was at school and I had other issues. You know, when you're at school and you're like, you're talking about who the, the boy that fancies you or what you're doing at the weekend or the party you're going to. And I think because I started at such a young age as well, you know, sort of 16 years old, I was getting taken out of school and I was going to shoots and things like that I was going to different countries I was le leading like almost a double life and it was um so when I was like 17 18 I remember going to like LA and coming back to school and being like this is so weird like I'm like on a video show I'm like you know he, like a huge um budget shoot and then I'm coming back and going to school and like you know reading books and doing lessons and I found the whole concept so strange but um, strange and hard like as in like did you not want to come back to school do you know what I did? And this was the thing I struggled with, especially when I turned 18, I moved to London and I decided to do full-time modeling. I really struggled with how much I was away from my social life and my friends. And I had a boyfriend at the time and I was, I really struggled with just not being normal anymore. Cause I liked that I had half normal and then half, you know, crazy life. But when I moved here and I had no school anymore, it was my full-time job. And that's, I really struggled with that. And all I wanted to do was, you know, be at home with my friends and not be with strangers that were essentially like making money off of me, like just working me like a show horse. Like it was, it was, it was really, um, it was, it was really taxing, honestly, very, very stressful for somebody of that age. Um, being around people that were like 20 years older than me and them sort of, I would follow what they did. So all the like drinking and the drugs and all of this, I did exactly what they were doing. So I just thought that was what was, you know, that was normal, like that was the fashion industry. And, you know, being worked as much as I did as well, I think was quite, you know, from an angle from an agency, they want to make the most money out of you while they can. So they book you on every single thing that they get that's money, you know? So I was in Japan, New York, Milan, Paris, like LA, here, there, everywhere. I was like never at home. So I think that was that was really stressful. But I had a good time and it was it was an experience for sure. And it's definitely made me who I am today. And I've seen so many different sides of an industry that now I'm like, right, I can take that and put it into my future life.